wow, I wasn't going to talk during this. I just wanted to film this uh, side of the creek along the footpath um, to make a comparison video because I have footage going along here from uh, last year or the year before or something um, when it was beautiful and green and nothing was dying or dead. Um, and check it out. I'm not going to let it touch me, but check it out. Wow. Um, I know they're uh, not letting uh, the news get out about what's really going on here in Australia. Um, but what I'm wowing at are the raindrops on the window. That is the first time I've seen uh, something even close to water coming from the sky in three months straight um, and that is no exaggeration um, just just look how look how dead look how dead it is um, yeah so uh, again if you hear anything about this because they seem to um, accentuate on the mainstream news about how much rain we get when we get like five minutes of rain and it does nothing um, like for example about a week ago uh, in northern New South Wales southern Queensland um, not enough rain to make a difference so yeah if you hear anything about rain um, I can pretty much guarantee it will be an exaggerated version. So you're getting it firsthand uh, from in the middle of the drought, um, surrounded by fires. Uh, I'm in Canberra and New South Wales are at, in the last three days, um, the fires have doubled. Victoria is, is um, extreme at the moment. Um, if you're not hearing any of this uh, in the news um, and you're not in Australia, just Google it. Just Google it um, and it will come up. Uh, yeah, uh, it's, it's really bad here at the moment. Um, everything is dry and everything is burning. So you're getting it first hand. Um, there are no fires that I know of in Canberra at the moment. Um, three earlier today. Um, but as far as I know, one on, on the southeast of Canberra at Hume is under control um, and the other two are out. But as you can see, it's so dry here that these few drops of manufactured rain full of chemicals, can't even see them now, will not make a difference. Um, yeah, so, sorry for my tone, but I've had just about enough. Um, I'm, I've been out in a dust storm, uh, combined with smoke, gusts of wind strong enough to tip this buggy over if I'm not careful and now I get five drops of rain on the window um, and the rest of the world thinks it's enough to put the fires out and it's not anybody's fault um, for thinking that because the news is just not getting out there um, but you're seeing it firsthand. Uh, Canberra is surrounded by bushfires in New South Wales um, but as I said, um, we're, we're okay, but we're, we're circled, we're circled by fire. Okay, last time I came this way, there was water, there was still water up past those rocks where it, where, where it starts to turn. Now it's gone. This had stopped, but there was still water to stop there, to stop there at the bend. Um, let's see this side. Oh look, a puddle. Can you see that? Mm. 
one puddle. Yeah, so anyway, uh, this is the truth. Don't trust mainstream. If you're getting any news at all, um, don't trust them. Uh, so anyway, oh, there we go, there's some. of stagnant water. Okay, so I'm going to um, stop talking now, otherwise I'll just get too upset. Um, yeah, uh, before I do, actually, I just want to apologise for um, bringing bad news all the time on my channel. Uh, I'm so glad we had the live streams uh, to um, uh, give some good news <laughs> um, because everything coming from here at the moment is not good and people aren't being informed so yeah so sorry it's always bad news lately but um, I want people to see what's really going on here quiet now. Okay, I'll do a little bit more filming and then, then I'm gonna stop stop it because my phone's starting to overheat. Oh look there's some birds. Phone's starting to overheat and I want to get out of here. Can't see properly. Where are you? Don't know if you can see it. Center screen. Is it Gala? There was two. One just flew off. It's good to see. I haven't seen many birds today. Um, I've seen two magpies and both of them were alone. Um, and magpies normally um, get around uh, in threes because there's a mum and a dad and a baby. Like they, they always travel in families, in a group. And it's been like two magpies um, on their own. And I heard a kookaburra. I didn't see it, but I heard it. Yeah, you might have noticed that on, on look at that the rain stopped it stopped by the way and I don't know if it's gonna show up the drops the raindrops have dried and they're, they're brown brown dust brown dust because we're in a dust storm and the rain is always dirty anyway um, yeah I managed to get a new So, um, yeah, thank you to everybody for creating light for your help. Um, so I can get around at least uh, within a 25 kilometer radius. Not that I'd want to go that far in this heat, but at least the options there now. Please be safe out there. All right, love you. See you. Headlights.
lights and faded outlines in your silence. Street fights and grungy hotels. Dark nights that left you unwanted. Voices that won't go to bed. Don't set it up just to knock it down. Don't set it all on fire. It's gotta stop. You've gotta start taking control. Don't set it up just to knock it down. Don't set yourself on fire. It's gotta stop. You've gotta start. Just, I haven't been this way in a while, and I just this caught my eye. This is everywhere. This is everywhere. Everything's dead. There's no strength. There's no moisture. Um, the trees just, things are just falling off. The wind blows and things just fall off the trees. So it's a bit hard to see how smoky it is. Uh, because I don't have a very good view from here but I hope that shows up um, the wind is blowing in the opposite direction to the fire uh, that's down south so that's good uh, the fire is in that direction on the other side of Canberra and the wind is blowing from that direction but there's also a lot of smoke coming from that direction um, which is hard to see at the moment because there's trees in the way but along the horizon with a decent view it looks very brown in that direction Um, I'm just going to add this uh, it's now raining outside um, if you can call it that uh, they're big drops and um, they go for about five minutes and then they stop um, but they're big heavy drops uh, right now it's raining um, I had the door open uh, to let in some air hoping that the rain would be cooling it down because um, it's really hot and um, really intense uh, smell of smoke started coming through the door after the rain started um, I will put a link in the description explaining this um, the rain is is doesn't do anything um, for the fires because it's full of the chemicals that are being used to create the fires um, yeah I'll put a link in the description explaining it a lot better than I can um, 
yeah, anyway, uh, so I just looked up the map um, that you can see on the screen and yeah, anyway. Okay, that one is under control. This is all on the other side of Canberra. Um, but uh, there's now four fires um, and it started with one when I got up today. Um, okay, this is the one, this is the original one. Uh, yeah, this is pretty much the original one. It's in, the, in that area um, of where it all started. Uh, that's out of control. Okay, updating map. Glad there's not an extra fire. Correction, this one. This one's the original one uh, from earlier today. Okay, so now we have three extra fires. Um, I'm thinking possibly a combination of the patchy rain and um, <clears throat> yeah lightning strikes um, I won't get into that uh, but I think I'll add another little bit of footage at the end of this um, and you can see for yourself um, yeah <clears throat> I didn't want this to be a long video but um, it's getting that way okay let's have a look at this one Kings Highway the Kings Highway um, they're saying is going to be closed uh, for at least the next month and that's the main uh, road to the coast to Batemans Bay um, which is on fire right now um, the Princess Highway is closed I don't know how many spots but um, the the south coast directly east from me is on fire um, the Currawan fire is very very bad um, I saw an update earlier today uh, saying that residents are probably going to be trapped um, with nowhere to go between the fire and the ocean that has already happened uh, down in East Gibbsland area in Victoria um, where the bushfires are getting up to 14 kilometres tall um, uh, they already had to um, go and jump in the ocean to escape the fire uh, the fires are intense they're huge um, the wind is gusty and in all directions and unpredictable and it's hot and the fires are moving very fast they are even burning uh, in grass that is only inches high because um, the whole country uh, is is dry the whole country is dry and dead um, what I just showed you on this video is is an example um, of the rest of the country as well um, and this news is not getting out there uh, so please share this um, with anyone um, download it upload it uh, share it on social media I don't care uh, the the information needs to get out there um, because I found out today that uh, this isn't being reported um, across the planet it's being hidden what's happening here in Australia um, so yeah anyway um, I'll show you a bit of footage um, and I'll compare it to something else that I caught uh, in some pictures of the 2003 Canberra firestorm um, and then I'll end the video uh, okay so it's good to see one fire has disappeared that's a good thing um, anyway uh, yeah I'm uh, top left top left so the fires are on the opposite side to me so um but they're getting closer uh 
yeah so be safe out there guys um, I didn't mean for this video to be so long I have so much footage um, so much evidence so much dot connecting that I just there's too much to put up so I'm just gonna get out what I can get out um, because people uh, need to know um, and I'll put some links in the description okay uh, be safe guys love yous see yous okay so this is just a little bit um, of a video that I made last year uh, on how they are creating these bushfires this is from a bushfire uh, the Canberra <coughs> the Canberra 2003 firestorm do they look burnt anyway um, this is what I'm getting at uh, I was looking at some footage on the ABC and got a screenshot of that um, yeah that's the that's the storm uh, that produced the lightning that created the fire um, now they're saying that the fires are so huge at the moment that they are creating their own weather systems which is uh, causing dry lightning which is causing more fires okay um, I caught something about a week ago uh, maybe two weeks ago I don't know um, but I caught it and here it is I'll show you a zoomed in shot in a minute um, sorry my hands aren't very steady these days uh, and I'm thinking if like the smoke is that bad you can't see through it you can't see the sky uh, these things can hide in the smoke and create the lightning and create more fires and the cover story is that the fires are making their own weather systems um, yeah so I hope I got I hope that I got that out clear enough uh, to be understood uh, there's a lot more to it um, yeah uh, mainstream are a bunch of liars um, they've even lied about uh, they've even not told us about fires in the area um, and I've got evidence of that too uh, yeah so here's a zoomed in shot we're looking on the left hand side of the screen the little black dots um, they disappear and reappear and move around they're not clouds and the next day um, I saw smoke coming up from that area so uh, yeah um, you guys come to your own conclusions but uh, there's a lot of things that add up with what's going on here and there's a lot of things that don't add up with what's going on here so again please share this everywhere um, and much love always see yous
little bit. There's a bit of, there's a few embers that are coming up, which is a bit of a way.